Good morning. My name is Dr. Rubomar Matzek. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Malaysia, Pahang. Uh, in this video, I will talk to you about the test of preparation at the University of Malaysia, Pahang. This video is dedicated for our partners in Indonesia and Vietnam. Uh, University of Malaysia, Pahang is a, um, a technical university situated on the east coast of Malaysia. In the main branch is in the city Kuantan. The University of Malaysia, Pahang has two campuses. The first campus is in Gambang, the second campus is in Pekan. University of Malaysia Pahang is a technical university and as a technical university, University of Malaysia Pahang strives to achieve the greatness, the higher level of competitiveness and one of the, and the mission is to establish international corporations. And um, as establishing the international corporations, uh, to achieve this mission, the University of Malaysia Pahang is establishing um, the double degrees with the international partners. I am a part of this international corporation. I work in a double degree called business engineering. The double degree business engineering is uh, um, a joint cooperation with the German University in Reutlingen. Uh, the double degree, uh, the purpose of the double degree is to uh, educate the Malaysian students uh, so they can be internationally employable. Uh, the partners in these cooperations are from the Malaysian side, Faculty of Industrial Management, and from the German side, Z Hochschule Reutlingen, and the partner is, the, the faculty is, uh, ESP Business School. What is a double degree? The double degree is a, the double degree is a cooperation between faculties to offer the students um, a project where can they study for four years and receive two degrees. So from Malaysian side uh, they receive a Bachelor of Science International Operations and Logistics Management and the German degree which the students receive is called Bachelor of Business Engineering with honors. We agreed between the two universities agreed to call the program Business Engineering. The program the double degree uh, official start of the program we can consider 2012. In 2012 uh, initial discussions between two partners started. In February 2013 uh, University of Malaysia Pahang and Hochschule Reutlingen signed the Memorandum of Understanding. Next step was the cooperation agreement in 2015 and in September 2015 we launched the program. Um, in this presentation, I will concentrate on one part, part of the double degree, which, which is very essential for success of the double degree, of any double degree. And this video is experience and sharing with our partners in Indonesia and Vietnam. Uh, this part is German language class. What is a German language class? Why do we need to have a German language class? In this double degree. One of the prerequisites of a German university is for students who want to study at the German university uh, to pass the language international language test. Uh, this, uh, the idea behind this German language test is that the students will be able to acquire knowledge at the German university and they will be able to uh, integrate themselves in a German society and to take the most of the time in Germany. In our double degree in Malaysia, we offer students a four semester long program, German language program. The point of our German class is for the business engineering students to acquire of level, a level of German language proficiency similar to the one of a native speaker. Uh, our element, our mode uh, in German language class and our teaching concept is that the students acquire a high language proficiency in all important in all important four language skills. And those skills are reading, listening, writing and speaking. 
one of the requirements we have to fulfill is that the syllables uh, syllable of our German language class is aligned with the common European framework of references for languages. Uh, the language competency uh, which the students will achieve will be verified by the test of examination. This test of examination will uh, be conducted after the semester 4, preferably in June. Uh, the importance of this, staff, this test of exam, uh, the language, the international German language exam, is high as the students will receive the double degree only if they pass the test stuff. If they don't pass the test stuff, they cannot receive the double degree uh, from German university. They will receive only single degree. The German language class uh, at the University of Malaysia Pahang in the double degree business engineering consists of two phases. The first phase is face-to-face uh, uh, -face time with students and um, we offering in this face-to-face -face time uh, four uh, different classes German 1, German 2, German 3 and German 4. German, German 1 happens in semester 1, German 2 uh, takes place in semester 2, German 3 is semester 3 and German 4 is semester 4. In every semester uh, the students will uh, acquire 140 weekly semester contact hours. This weekly semester contact hours means that the teacher sees the students for 140 hours one semester. So in this first face-to-face -face phase over two years in semester in four semesters in four German language classes the total amount of hours our students will receive is 560. The second phase uh, we are offering online collaborative courses. Those courses are additional amount of hours we are offering our students in between semesters. So this is not face to face. Uh, face this is a phase where the students work online alone or with each other in small groups depending on the teach on depending on the teaching assignment. Uh, and those additional supervised online courses called OC, we came up with the operation OC. Those online additional courses are offered three times over two years. Um, and uh, the first online course takes place after semester one. Uh, the second online course uh, takes place after semester two. And the third online course uh, happens after semester three. What is the purpose of this online course? We learned that 560 hours is minimally adequate uh, to pass the test staff. Uh, but we, we want to be sure that our students succeed firstly in test staff and secondly they will be successfully integrated in the learning environment and in the social environment when, while they are in Germany. So these online courses are uh, the means to ensure that the students are still in touch with the German language during semester holidays. So we, want, we don't want our students to have longer breaks between uh, semester courses. Then um, the idea of this language course is also to bridge the gap between the semesters with self-study. So we want to educate our students to acquire language by themselves. So they learn to work uh, independently on on the language because of course the language is something where you, what you have to work uh, your whole life on and uh, through that we want to develop a self-regulated learning behavior among our students so if the students are successful in the online courses it means they learn the, the ways of uh, self-regulated learning behavior and this can influence the um, learning attitude in Malaysia in Germany and after they graduate. So they know how to learn by themselves and they will be eager to learn by themselves. Um, so we came with the abbreviation for our online courses and this online courses is OCA, OCB and OCC. Um, what is an OCA? An OCA course is a follow-up uh, online course for German 1 an introduction to German 2. So in this online course we 
strengthening the learning material we uh, offered our students, the learning content we offered our students in semester four in the class German one, and we make a slight introduction, smooth introduction into German two. Basically, it's all about vocabulary and about grammar. This online course lasts for four weeks and starts mid-January and goes till mid-February. In online course B, uh, this online course takes place after German 2. Uh, German 2 is the uh, summer, uh, summer semester um, and uh, uh, it lasts for eight weeks uh, from beginning of July until September. Same, the, the purpose of the online course B is the same as the online course A. We revise the material we had in German 2 and we make a solid introduction, this time a solid introduction we have because we have more time, into German 3. And again, as is this online course, we emphasize on vocabulary and on grammar. But we also, uh, in terms of blended learning, we are offering our students uh, some options to improve their uh, speaking abilities through online presentations. Uh, the, the third one, uh, the last online course, um, happens, takes place after German 3 uh, and lasts also for four weeks from mid-January and mid-February, after the exams and before the next semester starts. In this class, um, as this class is very near to the test stuff, we want to improve the, uh, the, the reading, writing, and vocabulary uh, skills of our students, writing, reading skills uh, of our students and we want to enlarge the vocabulary of our students. And we emphasize on the content which is relevant to test stuff, so it would be purely uh, test stuff oriented online course. Depends on the level of the group, of course. Um, so the test stuff. Now, um, as a next step, I would like to go in more into detail what is a test stuff. Uh, this information is very important for our future partners or current partners as uh, this test stuff. Without the test stuff, there is no double degree. Um, the test stuff is one of the German language examination for foreign students who wish to study in Germany. Uh, there are several other uh, international examinations, but the test stuff is very widely recognized and very widely used uh, to prove the language proficiency skills of foreign students. And it's fairly tough, but it's fairly uh, fair as well, and gives a very profound understanding of what is the student capable of. The test staff consists of four subtests. This is the reading, listening, writing, and speaking. Uh, the levels, uh, the, um, the students can achieve the level of proficiency uh, on the TDN3, TDN4, and TDN5. TDN3 means uh, that the, the, the students are already uh, know what German language is, but they are still not proficient enough. Four level is in, for TDN four is an intermediate level, and TDN five is a level of proficiency. It's a level of a proficient user. In our program, the language proficiency uh, should be at least equivalent to level B one, B two, C one. This is uh, according to the Common European Framework of Languages this level called independent user, proficient user. Uh, in order to achieve this level of proficiency, the business engineering students need to complete between 700 and 1000 weekly student contact hours. This is according to Goethe Institute and the, data, the information data from 2017. As you remember, um, in four semesters, our student will acquire 560 contact hours. Plus, through additional online courses, they will acquire approximately, depending on the online course, depending on the curriculum in each semester, depending on the flying faculty, they acquire additionally 300, up to 300, 350 hours. So, in total, 
uh, our students after two years with uh, regular German classes and plus the online courses will acquire between 850 and 900 hours. So this is the this is the experience we did, and this uh, this amount of contact hours in our experience should be enough to pass the test stuff on the required level for to achieve the double degree. The business engineering program is a new program in Malaysia. It's the first program in Malaysia, and of course uh, we learned that there are lots of obstacles we have to overcome and we are doing it and we are quite successful in that matter so and this uh, in this video I would like to share with you the possible challenges you could face in your programs um, one of the biggest challenges is to uh, achieve the required level of the German language competency uh, so in our experiences and this is what you would like to implement in your program as well maybe the students need to undergo at least 700 to 1000 uh, contact hours to stand the chance to pass the test stuff uh, in our programs as i stated before uh, we have German 1, 3 and 4 and 3 online courses in additionally approximately we will achieve after 2 years the amount of hour equals, uh, which is equal to 840 contact hours. This is our solution for this challenge. But still uh, with one 840 contact hours the students initiative and self-learning is much needed. We still have to encourage the students, we have still work with students and talk with them to make them learn more than they receive only in pure classes. So, and this is what you have to also think about, encourage your students to work independently. When the students think they worked enough, please tell them it's not enough. Enough would be only once they pass the test stuff. Another challenge is that uh, a number of public holidays and the students' compulsory involvement in the extracurricular activities organized by the university reduces significantly the number of contact hours. This might be also the case in your program. And this is what curriculum doesn't consider, but in the real world we have to consider. So the next challenge is the learning environment. The learning environment, and here are the three main uh, challenges. The first is very limited opportunities to be exposed to the German language outside of the former classes. The next challenge is the students are overloaded with the other subjects due to the heavy nature of the business junior curriculum and outside of the former classes the German language is diluted by Malay and English speaking environment. So in uh, we are on the east coast of Malaysia and uh, this is still a developing region, it's a very fast developing region, but still there are not many opportunities to be exposed to German language. The students cannot go out and just talk with German uh, people around here, they just cannot do and do shopping in German um, and using the German language and they we, uh, have very, very limited opportunities to show them the uh, German movies on the regular basis. If they want to be exposed to German language on a more high level, they have to go to the capital city and this is of course involving money and time, which students are not ready to invest. Uh, in our curriculum, uh, our curriculum is very challenging and we have lots of subjects, uh, so the students are overloaded with, the, uh, with other subjects and it, sometimes they don't have enough time to invest in the, in the development of the German language skills. Um, and the third challenge, I want to make it a little bit deeper, so uh, the language environment is very important. Um, our students when they go outside they use Malay and English uh, mostly. We have exchange students, they socialize with them but it's not very often and it's not uh, as much as we would like to have and those are the challenges you might face as well. Um, for Vietnam it would be Vietnamese, your um, language environment would be diluted by the Vietnamese if the students go out and Indonesia would be Indonesian of course. Another challenge which is we have to consider as well and you have to consider as well is the learning attitude of our students. 
From the beginning of the problem, some of the students see German as an unbridgeable obstacle to gain the double degree. And this leads, of course, that the students consider the class secondary compared to other courses. Uh, so, maintaining the student's motivation is one of the biggest challenges and uh, every school, every university has to come up with their own uh, means to overcome this. If you want to, have to, if you want to know more how we deal with uh, motivation, with uh, maintaining motivation of our students, please contact our program community. We will be very happy to share our, our innovation method. Um, I talked about challenges in this program. Now I would like to outline some solutions uh, for the program and for German classes uh, in generally in Southeast Asia. The reality is that uh, our German language classes uh, are the student, the number of students in our German classes is very high. Sometimes it's uh, 25 up to 30. And to teach a language in these uh, conditions is very high. So, um, uh, to our opinion, and this is what we learn, our experience is that the optimal student-teacher relation would be between 10 and 15 students per class. That depends, of course, on the resources the university can allocate to uh, cater to the German class, the German language class. Um, if we have this uh, solution, if we have, if we can realize the solution to make the classes smaller, the number of students in a class smaller, then uh, the effect would be that the ratio of student talking time in the class and student lecture time will increase significantly, which of course will have a positive long-term effect on the student's performance. Uh, the next challenge, next solution is to work with students to increase their interest, interest toward the German language in the class itself. And uh, how we do it at the UMP? At the UMP, we are offering our students various outdoor learning activities. Uh, as example, I can say, I can give you an example. Uh, every uh, semester, every summer semester, we organize for our students a German language camp. We go outside of the campus and we spend up to four days uh, in some uh, remote jungle area when we do a lots of German, um, lots of activities, and those activities in those four days are purely in German language. In, in this program, we involve uh, juniors and seniors as well. Then we offer our students as, uh, also study trips to other universities for knowledge sharing sessions. We offer our students also movie evening, uh, some theatrical performances, organized theatrical performances. We bring the students to Kuala Lumpur to see some uh, events, to be present with, uh, in some cultural activities, to take part in some cultural activities uh, and sketches and of course this mentioned language camp. Mm, to make it possible, uh, UMP um, is uh, allocating a proper, appropriate budget uh, for such activities. And uh, this is what uh, our partners maybe should consider as well, to offering those activities. But uh, it goes much better if the university is cooperating in matter and allocating appropriate funds. Mm, another thing is that uh, those activities would usually happen uh, during the week. Uh, so those activities have to be counted as a learning units so that the students uh, don't feel like they're using their study time for fun, even it's a learning fun. So if the university is ready to count those activities as a learning unit, it's very important and those activities will, have, will be successful. So, um, I already mentioned our German language camp, uh, camp and uh, here I will give you some more activities, uh, some more example about activities with you at the Faculty of Industrial Management at the UMP. So, uh, the first one is those German camps, which happen every summer semester. 
Then we have industrial talks by uh, German industry, by the uh, representatives of German industry. Then we have uh, also industrial visits. We go out and visit German companies. We talk with the workers, we talk with the employees, uh, we talk with employers. Um, and as those companies are German, com German companies, we have lots of German staff in the companies and our students are ready to be exposed firstly to the German language and secondly to the engineering content. And of course uh, this is their opportunity for them to, um, to talk maybe with the future employee, employers. Uh, and present themselves. Um, also, uh, the Faculty of Industrial Management organizing the conferences, scientific conferences, and uh, as example, we can uh, say we can name an EBEC conference in Kuala Lumpur uh, in September 2016. Our students were present at this conference and they were exposed not only to a German language as well, because some of the talks were in German language, but as well to the industry and to the current uh, trends in the industry, which uh, um, and that we believe helped them to acquire more knowledge, acquire more um, insights into the topic of business engineering and to be more effective in their studies. Another way um, to engage students to uh, be successful, to make the program more successful is our promotional activities. And promotional activities in Malaysia are usually educational fairs. Educational fairs uh, is a great way to um, spread the word about the uh, program and to acquire new students. And we're using this extensively. And if you have this opportunity, we would recommend you to do the same thing. This is a great way to tell people, to tell the industry, to tell students, to tell parents about the program, to make the program more popular and more effective. The third solution uh, we would uh, we are thinking about is to offer to work with a German partner uh, so that we can offer additional German language classes at the German partner university, either organized by the university or the university, the German university assists our students to find the course, uh, additional course to prepare themselves uh, more for uh, their life and integration in Germany. Um, this language course has to happen. Uh, in the third and the fourth year of their studies. And this uh, course will ensure the sustainability of the language learning. Also, this course would facilitate the transition to the German educational system and the integration into German society. Um, through this additional online course, the students will receive the opportunities to improve their language skills and their overall performance. Because uh, once they pass the test off, um, and if they start learning German, they might experience difficulties in writing in once they are once they're doing internship in the German company, or once they writing a scientific paper. So uh, offering them a chance to have additional language course will improve the ability, will, will improve the, the success, the effectiveness in the internship, and maybe will help them to achieve a greater academic results. The next thing you have, we have, we have to talk about, and our partners maybe would like to talk about, to, to think about, um, is uh, the staff, the teaching staff, the people who will teach our students, who will teach the students. So if you uh, facing the the task to choose a proper uh, language teacher, here are some topics you might would like to, you would like to consider. First, uh, please look at the relevant experience. Uh, the teachers has to have at least a, a master degree. Preferably, they have to have a PhD in linguistics, uh, teaching learn learning as a second language, or in any education field. The next step, they have to be versed in blended learning. They have to know how the online collaborative learning works, and they have to, exp they have to work uh, they have to have used in these methods in the in the work. Uh, another um, topic is they have to be uh, uh, they have to have international experience. Please look if they worked 
outside of Germany or outside of the German-speaking country or if they stay only one country. So the, because the international experience is very important, um, uh, they have to be very uh, sensitive about the different culture, about the learning attitudes of students, about the cultural background. They have to understand how the, the target group works. It's not very effective to impose uh, the students' day way of thinking or day way of working. They have to have this international, the, the, the cultural sensitivity, and that's why the special international experience in kicks in. Another quality you have to, you, you might like to search in a candidate is um, look for staff uh, who is ready to go an extra mile. If the teacher has to uh, offer more contact hours, have to more, uh, has to offer more, or sees uh, that there is a there is a gap. There is there's, there are weak students, and they um, need more time with the teacher. This teacher has to be ready and voluntarily uh, offering those hours, offering this uh, opportunity for students to improve themselves. Mm. Of course, those. Uh, Teachers has to be team players because uh, the double degree is a very tight community, and uh, you have to be you have to work uh, not only with students, but you have to be you have to work also with other staff, with other German lecturers, and this uh, cooperation has to be successful. This cooperation, this 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 teamwork has to go smoothly because nobody wants to have troubles uh, among staff whereas the curriculum is very tough and you have to concentrate on work. Of course, they need to have of course, a strong work ethic. You don't have to have uh, people who consider this job as a holiday job uh, because the Malaysia is so nice or Indonesia or Vietnam is so nice. There are so many opportunities to go outside and spend holidays um, and to have fun. If this is the priority for a German language teacher, then please don't hide him. Uh, look for a teacher with a very strong work ethics. Of course, uh, preferably uh, hire German uh, native speakers or the, the teachers who have a very high command of German language near to native speakers. Experiences uh, from the point of uh, faculty of industrial management is as follows. Uh, the, the students um, uh, shared with us the insight and they said that this program is a very motivating program. The structure of the program is very motivating. They have to work a lot. This is not a usual structure uh, and this is what uh, force them to work more and that's why they like to work more because the, the structure is very unusual. The learning experience is very enriching. The content which uh, they learn in our program is something different, something new for them. Uh, and uh, they realize through industrial talks, through industrial visit, that this program has a very high impact on the future of uh, Malaysian economy and also will have the high impact on their future. So if they succeed in the program, they will be highly employable uh, people. Yes. And uh, by that I'm mentioning a good job perspectives they will have after graduating from these programs, if they are succeeding, if they are uh, doing their part. Um, we talk also about industry and the feedback from the industry about our program is that our students have oppressive hard and soft skills. The industry already in the first or in the second year with seniors and with juniors or with seniors, they met them and they already expressed the interest to hire our BE students once the students, once the students uh, return from Germany. What interest, what is interesting for our uh, partner industrial partners is that the students will spend uh, two years in Germany they will do the internship at the German company, they will be able to speak German language uh, and they will be exposed uh, to a new content uh, and they will acquire new content, new content which is relevant for their companies. 
So this content is very relevant for the industry as the industry told us. From the point of uh, Faculty of Industrial Management, uh, this program is important in important in terms of branding. Through this program we can brand, we can enhance the brand of UMP uh, and, uh, in general and particularly faculty uh, of industrial management. This program generates uh, income for the faculty and for the university. And of course this program is very relevant for the university. The, the, this program enhancing is enhancing the, the relevancy of University Malaysia Bahang and of the faculty of industrial management. By that we are or we keeping our hand on the pulse of life, on the pulse of industrial life. Um, of course, uh, as well, academic, administrative staff and students exchange is also a very interesting and very uh, motivating part for of, uh, faculty of industrial management. This is what faculty emphasizes, what is very important for, for the faculty. And uh, with this, I would like to end my uh, presentation about uh, uh, test staff preparation at the University of Malaysia at Pahang, but in general also about the double degree business engineering. Thank you very much for watching and if you need any more insights or if you need any more uh, experience, we would like to uh, share this experience with you, so please uh, contact the Faculty of Industrial Manager at the University of Malaysia at Pahang, me or other program coordinators, the contacts you will have uh, in the end of the video. Thank you. Vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit. Wenn Sie mehr Informationen brauchen, nehmen Sie bitte mit uns Kontakt auf.